Ooh, Lucian and Diana. I don't know what to expect. Is this because of the nerfs to War Chefs? We're now considering new avenues for mid range decks. Seems kind of pog. I wonder, like, why the Lucian, though? Does he have the ability to actually flip it? Maybe he plays like Mentor of Stones and stuff. The Diana probably. I would assume that he's not heavily into Nightfall. I might be wrong, though. If you're running this, you're most likely heavily into Nightfall. I wouldn't be surprised to see Dina come down on curve here. Don't get in my way. Um, that's actually Lucian. I'll play the hide gun here. Who's on top of the bounty board today? Bring in the heat. I'll tank this damage, right? Next turn, we'll definitely develop Petty Officer. I think it's more important that we develop a strong board over the Monkey Idol. Now, I'm wondering, like... It's kind of interesting. Well, I guess now I'm forced to try and clear the Lucian. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to look for like a make it rain cheese. I wonder if this deck can even fit Ranger's Resolve. Still, we're getting the flips on the, our, uh, we're getting the procs onto our Sejuani and GP. This is kind of relevant. Uh oh, it's a little bit of a problem. We obviously flipped the uh, center, which is kind of annoying because now we can no longer let that hit face. Yeah, we're probably going to chomp with the Jagged Butcher here, perhaps. Bit of a pretty cool cheese. Hopefully we find something pretty decently playable this turn. Yeah, we're probably just going to play open attack here. Their scent travels in the night air. We're going to lean towards the monkey idol here. This is kind of scary. Does this double attack mean that... I'm not entirely sure how this works. I'm guessing it's going to push a lot of face damage though. Pretty happy to frostbite this turn. And then we'll, we'll be pretty set up to play Gangplank next turn. I could also just do the the safe play, which is to do a Sejuani. Sorry to go Yordle Grifter. Okay, so Giovanni is flipped. Man, I really want to play GP. If he single if he single combats my GP, I am in a lot of trouble though. Nah, we just go for it, right? Nice. If he's running hush, well, he can't play it anyway, so we're fine. He cannot really ignore this board state, so this looks pretty solid. Okay, 
Wow. Really forced into blocking with his entire board. It feels kind of bad for him. Yeah, I would love to have a warning shot in hand. That would make a tremendous amount of difference because I don't know if there's like some sort of cheese he can do with the center's overwhelm coming up. I don't think he should be able to kill me though. Um, but he might if he drags the keg. Oh, we just top deck warning shot. So I guess it doesn't really matter what he does. Yeah, we should be fine. I'll see if there's actually a way for him to kill me. Because I'm not entirely sure how this interaction works. Yeah, that, that would kill me. So if we hadn't have drawn warning shot, we would have lost this game 110%. Yep, that's a top deck for the ages. So it almost feels like I was supposed to play Yordle Grifter last turn, but the GP kind of worked out too. That was so close. That was really scary. That deck looked like I had a fair bit of potential. Oh uh, yeah, I'll kick Yodel Grifter because we're attacking odds. I'll find something for turn two, hopefully. Oh, that was kind of weird. I swear I just kicked both these cards. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. Uh, so we're versing pretty typical Ash Shijuani again. I suppose I can parlay it. Thing is, if he has uh, Elixir of Iron, he'll 100% use it here. No Iron. Okay. Uh, pretty simple open attack, I think. Just to get that proc off. And now it's kind of interesting what we should do from here. I think Merchant might be too greedy to play now. So I'm going to play the Monkey Idol. This is going to set up chump blockers. No one Poor man's gone mad. Yeah, I, th I think Yodel Grift is just fine. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Reckoning, kind of unplayable for us. But him not having it is also kind of nice. You gotta believe me. Uh, that attack wouldn't make much sense. Why would you do this? He, has, he clearly has an answer to protect one of his units. I'm not going to allow him to get the Sejuani proc though. Brittle. That was the answer I would have preferred not to have seen. Still, I think we can just kind of like parlay this unit off, right? I think that's absolutely fine. No, we don't do that. We're not going to do that. We're going to play Hired Gung next turn. <laughs> cool, so we've flipped GP and Sejuani, except they are nowhere in sight. Kind of like make it rain here. Merchant might be fine though. Eh. I'll parlay that. So now we need GP as a Giovanni and we'll start to do some stuff. This is great. This is going to help us find just those cards that we need. Bow to no one. So Giovanni comes down. That's fine. I'll play Bjerg here. No 
We find our Sejuani. Something like this looks okay, I think. Then next turn we can play Sejuani. You can have like Ice Fell Archer. But we still just play it, right? It's a little bit interesting. I'll be quick. Bristle, you gotta believe me. I do sort of want to play develop more this turn. He played the 5-5 five five though. I think I need to go a little bit more aggressive here. Okay. What's crazy is I can do something disgusting with Reckoning next turn. Holy, imagine Yoinking Reckoning from the Ash Shejuani deck. There's also a chance that it doesn't proc. I think we'll just play Yordle Grifter here. There's also a textbook. Gives him a textbook read. You can see the warning shot in our hand though. It's almost a lockdown. So I guess we have to use a warning shot here, right? I refuse. Losing uh, Sejuani is actually a little bit of a stinker. Not going to lie. Oh man, suddenly we were in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, we are in a lot of trouble now. Our strength is yours. We are in a lot of trouble. Okay, we did find GP though, which we can play, and that's going to be super pog. So in the meantime, I'm going to have to figure out the best way to stabilize this board. And I don't, th I think we want to maintain our elusive units. Can I go down to six? Make it worth my while. I 
I think we can go down to six. Between the, 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 the difference between six and like a bit lower is a little bit spooky. But he cannot deal with the GP. We get the kegs, we get the open attack. Double elusive units. Yes, this definitely feels like an open attack. This also has the uh, vulnerability. I wonder if I should drag that. I'm still kind of guaranteeing lethal. Yeah, this is safe. This is probably just the safest play I can make. He can, of course, buff the Sejuani, but he also needs to calling strike the keg. And the issue with calling striking the keg is that I can still like kind of warning shot. Although I don't push the lethal damage from here, I will still push one, two, plenty. That still doesn't keep him alive, so if he can let that pass through, I'll be happy. Yeah, this is fine. He can't see the other warning shot, which is the issue. I don't think he runs Kindly Tavern Keeper. I don't think they would even bother taking Kindly Tavern Keeper at the moment. I also have Lethal and Make It Rain. Only the finest, sir. And then we just go boom, boom. Boom, boom. Nice and quick. Well played. We just got there.